that sure is an interesting choice of outfit. Hello, Arthur. There she is. Not too bad. Mr. Morgan. Mr. Pierce. Lenny? Hey, Arthur. That knife's sharp enough, ain't it? Depends. Why? You feel lucky? <sighs> Do you? Oh, before me? At least six generations were born in chains. And for the last three years, I've been running from every lawman and bounty hunter west of the Lanahassee River. So yeah, I feel lucky. I'm the living embodiment of luck. That is one way of seeing things. But I'm also skilled. And in this game, you got to have luck and skill. And stupidity. The Outlaw's Trinity. Luck, skill, and just a dose of stupidity. Come on. You ain't too old and too slow just yet. After you. As you wish. You know, we should head back up that mountain sometime and make Jenny a proper grave. Some nice. You got your bandages ready? Ugh. Now, watch me. So, there we go. Watch this. Ouch. No. Oh. Yeah, you save her while it lasts. Keep it loose. Come on, Dan. Don't you choke now. Nice and easy. All right. On a good rhythm there.
Here goes. Oh, I don't know about that get up, Arthur. Hi, Molly. You look fine. Okay, Arthur. Well, don't let me interrupt the beauty routine. Sorry. Ain't Good day, dear. Right now. Morning, Arthur. Karen, Karen. Morning, mister. Nervy little fella, ain't you? Wouldn't you be? Don't cross us. You'll be fine.
figured this might be of interest to you. Well, ain't this a lovely little thing? Deal. Here. Pleasure. So long. Come on, pal. It ain't your job. Ah, shut up, Arthur. Yeah, your job's starting the fights. You ain't winning them. I can scrap, Arthur. I'm just no good at homework. I can see. Besides, what do you care, Englishman? You've got no time for me. I try to find your work, but then you're off cutting jobs with other folks, and your boy Sean doesn't get a look in. Guess I don't want to get shot, that's all. Yeah, you're a real fucking funny shit, Arthur Morgan, huh? Real fucking funny. Calm down. You better sleep with your eyes open. Hell, you're gonna sleep with your chest open if you ain't careful, boy. <laughs> I love you, Arthur Morgan. I love you. Come on, take a shot. Come on, take your best shot, please. Yeah? Grow up. And let me come on the raid, witches. Raid? Don't be playing coy with me, son. It's unbecoming. That bloody train you and him has set up. What you're doing out here, you're going to need guns. You're going to need men. Oh, that. So Marston told you? It ain't a big show. I need calmness. If I take you, I might as well bring Micah along. Now compare me to that oily toward again. You're a dead man. <laughs> Fair enough. Anyway, Arthur, what's your problem with me? In fact, don't tell me. I already know. You are threatened by me. Threatened by you? Yeah, my youthful vigor. It intimidates you. Does it? It's a story as old as the hills. The changing of the guard, the fading of the light. You're toast, old man. Okay. And what are you? I'm the future. In all its glory. Yeah, well, good luck. Good luck and shut up. <laughs> I want to get some rest before nightfall. <clears throat> Wake up, you lazy sir. What are you doing here, kid? I'm coming, John. On the job. I said you weren't coming. Yeah, well, Arthur says I am. And it's his party, boy, so come on, let's go. <laughs> Me and the big cheeses. Love it. Can't wait to slit some bastard's throat. You sure about this? No. <laughs> are we ready? Yeah. Train's due through tonight. All right, then. It's on. Charles? I'm ready. Gentlemen, let's go earn some money. Hey, all the horses untethered? Think so. You planning on getting us there any time today? Good. They should follow on behind us. You find a good spot, Wolfman? Yeah. Follow the trail southwest. There's a spot that's remote, but should still give them enough time to spot the oil wagon. They see this block in the tracks, they'll stop soon enough. Apparently. Picks up a new team of guards at the state line, so shouldn't be too much in the way of guns to deal with. See, this is what I mean. I disappear for a couple of weeks and you cut me out of all the action. Just the action that requires a brain. Ha ha ha. You're a funny fella, John Marston. And my folks, eh? You had your feet up the whole time, playing sick and fondling that new scar like you're gonna buy a breakfast in the morning. You don't know what you're talking about. Stay close on this. Wouldn't want you getting scratched by a squirrel or something. Hey, slow it down. They're left here, towards roads. So, like I was talking about. That could put you out of commission for the rest of the year. Why do you have to speak so much? It's incessant. Plus, I've still got some blood in me veins. 
You old bastards have forgotten how to live. I blame you two for rescuing him. Far too much trouble for what we got out of it. Yeah, takes a whole army of bounty hunters to bring in Sean McGuire. And look at me now, in the gunner's sea. <laughs> Back in business, boys. <laughs> You know, my dad always used to say... Not the top, no, please. Not this oh. again. Fine. Damn you three. Sulky, angry, scarface. A right barrel of laughs. So, we got the tracks with the wagon, then jumping. That's the plan. Pretty much. Charles, you deal with the engineer. John, secure the passenger car fast. Take charitable donations and make sure everyone behaves. Little Mr. McGuire, you focus on the baggage car. Grab any valuables you can find. Here's good. Stop the wagon over the tracks. Remember, these are innocent folks. We handle this ride, nobody needs to die here. Right. Mr. Marsh. Mr. Smith, Mr. McGuire, yeah. get over there. When she slows, order. And you? I'm gonna make sure she slows. I'll do or die with you. <laughs> I like it. Get moving. I'm going aboard. Make that quick and join us on there. All right, get on that train. Faster. All yours, Captain. We'll go on ahead. Everybody stay calm and sure. sure. don't get shot. Come on. Go. Everything you got. Money, valuable. There you go. Let's make this, this quick, is people. unnecessary. Come on. Please. We ain't leaving till this bag's full. I ain't got nothing. You wanna have a little chat with Romeo and Juliet here? What's the problem here? Please, please, don't do it. It ain't worth dying over. Tell Come him, on. Mr. M. In the bag, everything you got. Keep it coming, don't be shy. People like you make me sick. These two seem to think we're playing games. I want to count to three. One. Two. Come on. For the baggage okay, car. Huh? Right, you sure about that? Why are you wasting our time? You sure this huh? son of a bitch we ain't playing around here? Just put the gun down, baby. Deal with this fella, will you? Me, please. Oh. Everything you got. Money, valuable. We ain't leaving till this bag's full. You won't get a damn cent from me. Let me hand you over to my friend. Don't make me hurt. I am adverse to conflict, my dear. Mr. M! Come on, cuff it up, people. Don't be shy. Everything you got. Let's go! I can handle this from here. You should check on Sean. Okay. Okay! None of you folks move a muscle! 
You hear me? What is it? You all right? Build the baggage car. For Christ's sake, you ain't even taking a look yet? There's probably something in here, Arthur. <laughs> Twice a chance of hitting someone. <laughs> Very funny. We're looking good in here. Oh. Oh. Gonna have a right old lump on me head. At least you ain't got a hole in it. Are those tennis rackets in there? Hush bastards. Just keep your eyes peeled. I'm doing me best, all right. I know, that's what's worrying me. All right, we should probably be going now. These folks are rich, all right. Come on, we should get out of here. We'll take that. Arthur, we've got a problem. There's two arseholes on horses. How many you say? Oh, I just see a pair of them. Uh, in that case, we're fighting. Austin, Smith, get ready. You men come out the train now, do you hear? We said you men come out now. There's only two of you, you fools. We got a whole lot less to lose. Why don't the two of you ride away? That way neither of you get killed. Goddamn liberties. Eh? There's a few more of them torn enough. <gasps> Damn my big mouth. Okay, let's deal with them. Last chance. Drop your weapons and get off the train. We won't tell you again. Come out now with your hands up. There they are. Open fire. We got more on the left. And we got more coming from the trees there.
<laughs> that was fun, boys. Real fun. We can see what they call you the professionals in the outfit. <laughs> Shut up. At least we made some money. Hey, yeah, what did I get? Gotta be a hundred dollars here. Very nice. You weren't even invited. <laughs> what now? <laughs> we still need a real big take. Enough for us to get out of here. Was that a setup? Law turned up real fast. I don't know. I don't think so. I'm starting to get nervous. Think they followed us from Blackwater? Maybe. They found me already near Horseshoe, but I think this law was just locals. I hope so. I'm gonna head into Valentine, see if I can get something started there. Good idea. Either way, we should all go it alone right now. You know the deal. Don't be followed. Uh, of course not, boss. Yeah.
We've done all we can for you. You come back for your money at the end of the week. I can't pay you in full for today, of course. The rest of you, stop gawking. Get back to work. Come on! And you there. Thanks for the help. <sighs> Thank you for your help, mister. I don't know what I'm gonna do now. <sighs> That foreman's a real bastard, ain't he? Here, this should help you get back on your feet. Thanks, mister. You're a good man. Oh. You gonna be all right there? I think so. All right. Take care of yourself. Good to see you. Why? You want rescuing again, do you? <laughs> no. I got a plan to make it up to you. A plan like the Blackwater Ferry job, or like you going off scouting and ending up in jail? <laughs> Dutch said you was a, a big shadow cast by a tiny tree. I don't even know what that means. Mm, I thought you was a tough boy. <laughs> Not one of those gentlemen. <laughs> Trying to protect his riding clothes. Well, I just know whenever things get real, you turn yellow, lose your head. Yellow? Sure seems that way. So I guess you won't be riding with me to rob the banking coach comes about this time into Strawberry. I heard one of the O'Driscoll boys yapping about it while I was inside. You and me? Do a robbery? That's what I said, didn't I? After you. <laughs> Come on. I know an overlook where we can watch for them coming in. What are you doing anyway, camping out here like some crazy hermit? Can't exactly stay in town now, can I? And like I told you, I ain't going back to Dutch without a peace offering. So what's the deal with this coach? What do you mean? Comes through about this time every day, like I said, the end. I mean, how many men? Guns? Riders! Nothing serious. It'll be fine. I heard the bank's been hiring every trigger man they can get of late. The meaner, the better. You worry too much. Forgive me if I ain't wholly faithful in something an old Driscoll told you when you was half drunk in a jail cell. He kept you happy. Talking about it. Saying how they... You've been hitting it on the regular. That's a good lead in my book. Damn old Triscolls are everywhere now. Bastards got a hold of most of Big Valley. Heard they took over some big ranch north of here. How the hell you and Lenny end up down here, anyway? Oh, you know how it is? A few loose ends, drink here, drink there. What loose ends? Nothing that needs to concern you. I always pay my share. It concerns me. When you put us in danger and we don't realize till it's too late. Like that move you pulled in Strawberry. 
making me kill half the town just for your precious guns. Precious they are. You need to roll a little looser, Morgan. Looser? I've seen you come full undone more than once now, and you've only been running with us a few months. Are we gonna rob this coach or bicker about it? What's done is done. Guess we're robbing him. Then let's do it. This is the spot. Hold up on this ridge. Easy. They should be here in a little bit. Hold tight. Which way will they be coming in? Should be from over there. We need to hit them fast before they get into town. Just don't lose your head this time. Of course, tough guy. They should be here any minute. Look, there they are. Right on time. Get covered up. Come on! <laughs> right! Yeah. covered now. It's just you and me, sweetheart. I'll give it to them. They put up half a fight at least. Yeah! Baylock! Come on, boy! Mm. Look here. Find new rifle, too. Here you go, Arthur. From me to you. That's more your style than mine. What did I tell you? Like licking butter off a knife. Something like that. You don't want to just break it open here and be done with it? Could be more than we can carry. And there might be a second crew of riders tailing. All right, then. Not to mention, we ride back in with a big take and a new wagon to boot. Dutch can't say we ain't pulling our weight no more, can he? I ain't sure I trust this new act of yours one bit. Listen, I know we got off on the wrong foot, but I got no beef with you. I reckon we're a lot alike, you and me. Now, hold up there. Dutch knows I'm a feller that gets things done, same as you. Get things done. You'd be wearing a California collar now if I hadn't broken you out of shit. Now we're being robbed. Get across the river. What the hell? Finish. 
every job I do with you ends in a pile of dead bodies. Since when did you have a problem killing O'Driscoll? Huh, huh. <laughs> You've got a point. Let's strip this coach, then. It clearly ain't going nowhere now. You know, we should really pick up a lock breaker one of these days. Save ourselves some bullets. Yeah, because saving bullets is such a concern of yours. <laughs> Let's take what we can and get the out of here. That lock should shoot off easy enough. I'll give you the honors on account of, well, this little mess. Go on, then. You shooting it or not? I'm done wasting my breath on you. <clears throat> that should do it. Come on, let's see if all this was worth All I see is you, me, a river full of dead O'Driscolls, and a lockbox. I'd say we're golden here, Morgan. Look at that. Hey. What's the cut here? It's good. Just make sure the gang gets its peace. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, big shadow, tiny tree. And like I said, <laughs> that still don't mean nothing. Get out of here. Go see Dutch. Make sure you ain't followed. I know, boss. I know. It's been fun. <laughs> <laughs>